the sum of two numbers is 34. If 3 is subtracted from one number and 2 is added to another, the product of these two numbers becomes 260. So here, let the two numbers be, let the two numbers be, one I will consider x, the other one will be 34 minus x, 34 minus x, because if I will take, see, x plus 34 minus x, if I will take this as two numbers, one is x, the other one is 34 minus x, x and x will get cancelled, we will get 34. So, here one number is x, the other number is 34 minus x. So, the condition they told, if 3 is subtracted from one number, if 3 is subtracted from one number, so the given condition is, given condition if 3 is subtracted from one number that is x minus 3 and 2 is added to another number so other number is 34 minus x plus 2 the product of these two numbers is 260 one number is x minus 3 because 3 is subtracted from the first number and the other number is 34 minus x. I added 2 for that number. So the multiplication of these two, the product of these two is 260. So if I simplify this further, x minus 3 into 34 plus 2, 34 plus 2 is 36 minus x equals 260. Now here, x into 36, 36 x and x into x minus x square next minus 3 into 36 is minus 108 minus 3 into minus x minus into minus plus 3x equals 260 now here 36 x and 3 x 39 x minus x square minus 108 equals 260 now x square is here negative so i'll transpose all these values towards right side so i'll get here x square minus 39x minus x square will become plus x square minus plus 39x will become minus 39x next plus 108 plus 260 equals 0 x square minus 39x x square minus 39x plus 108 260 is 368 equals 0 so here 1 into 368 so the factors are so to find the factors by factorization method 368 2 1 84 2 times 92 2 times 46 2 times 23 so these all if we multiply that is 16 into 23 so the factors are 16 into 23 so now here x square minus 39x i'll write as minus 16 minus 23 minus 16 x minus 23 x plus 368 equals 0 so x if i'll take common x minus 16 minus 23 if i'll take common x minus 16 equals 0 so x minus 16 into x minus 23 equals 0 so here x minus 16 equals 0 x minus 23 equals 0 so x equals 16 x equals 23 suppose see if we we'll consider x as 16 okay if one number if we we'll consider it as 16 so 34 minus 16 so the other number will be 34 minus x 
that is 34 minus 16 which is nothing but 34 minus 16 will give you like 18 so the other number is 18 suppose if x is 23 if x is 23 34 minus 23 that is the other number will be 11 so if the numbers are like 16 and 18 are it will be like 23 or 11 now if you want you can verify like how two answers are possible now see 3 is subtracted from one number and 2 is added to other number now take this pair 3 you subtract from here minus 3 you will get 13 and add 2 for this you will get 20 so 13 times 20 will give you like here 260 13 times 20 is 260 here if you want you can do that see from one number you can subtract 3 if you subtract 3 you will get 20 and for the other number if you add 2 here you will get 13 so 20 times 13 20 into 13 which is 260 so the possible answers are here 16 and 18 are 23 and and 11